Assalamu alaikum dear doctors in this video I am discussing a recall communications that is about meningitis uh, meningitis prophylaxis the exam scenario recall question is that mother of a six year old child her son is one of the school fellow one year senior than him is suffering from meningitis and is admitted in our equity emergency department she has come for the checkup of her son in our equity emergency who is taking who is having flu for one week cough for one day and but no fever and rash so found to have upper respiratory tract infections that is viral but she is worried that her son might also be having meningitis insisted to give him the antibiotics wants to break confidentiality of the other child now explaining this so explanation is that talk about the symptoms of meningitis which not found in adam after checking previous knowledge Sudden onset of fever, headache and neck stiffness, skin rash, abnormal movement, seizure, decrease the appetite, confusion or difficulty concentrating. These are the features of meningitis which are absent in Adam conditions. Number one. Number two, when the mother asked about the other child who admitted for meningitis, what about his condition? So we ask that we cannot break the confidentiality of the other child. Next question, uh, the mother can tell that um, how many children, there are lots of children in the school, they can be affected with this meningitis. Then with the answer, we will tell that already we notify to the public health authority, authority who aim to protect and improve the health of the community as preventive measure and health education. And if Adam needs prophylaxis, they will contact you. Which cases to be notified? So the cases to be notified are number one, confirmed case, clinical diagnosis plus confirmed lab, it is positive blood culture sensitivity, meningococcal, PCR, gram-negative, diplococci. Number two, uh, pro-baby case. So, pro-baby case clinical diagnosis plus some lab, but the consultant and microbiology suggest meningitis. Possible case, clinical diagnosis, positive lab in non-sterile area, but consultant and microbiology don't support meningitis, will not be notified. Then mother can be asked that who are the close contact person who can take this preventive measure, the prophylaxis. So, we will answer define who are considered to be close contact. People living in the same house, prolonged contact to with a case, students in the same university or class sharing food or materials, transient time of exposure but child minder who take care of the child, contact with his secretions or large particles like the health workers. They will not require prophylaxis if wearing a surgical mask or used closed suction or circle of close contact. So, what is the prophylaxis? Start as soon as possible in the first 24 hours, even up to 4 weeks. Meningococcal, we give the ciprofloxacin single dose in all ages. Hemophilus influenza, we give rifampis in less than 10 years. Public health notifications, pneumococcal, meningococcal or hemophilus influenza. Now, special measures. Which special message we give? No need for antibiotic. It has many drawbacks and we do not give it if he don't have the indication for it. But... He has at any time, Adam, the symptoms, you should contact medical advice urgently. So when mother giving pressure, give the antibiotic, give the prophylaxis, we will tell that that is drawbacks. And one important thing need to mention that uh, there is side effects, resistance of the antibiotic can be developed. Uh, and if resistance of the antibiotic develop, when he need actually these medications, what, then what we do? So benefit versus risk, we will uh, tell that like the woman and also we mention the warning sign, that is red flag. The symptoms, if these features develop, the meningitis features, then she should be come back urgently. So this is all about uh, meningitis prophylaxis uh, communications, which is recently come on the exam. Please do subscribe and share MRCPCH with the Dr. Emma Choudhury. Thank you.